Hello everyone and welcome to this new video from Free Dreams 106 channel. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back to talk about lasers with a new machine, the Algo Laser Alpha MK2. In this video, we start with the unboxing and assembly. I'll show you some projects I've done with this laser and I'll share my review of the Alpha MK2 with its pros and cons. So, let's get the chase and get into it. Let's start by unboxing this machine. The Alpha NK2 comes in a box that is very compact for a laser, but has all the necessary layers to protect our machine. Inside the package we find all the laser components, the included air assistant, a plywood panel useful for trying our first projects and several useful accessories, including protective glasses, a replacement lens, assembly and maintenance tool, and the instruction manual. Once we have unpacked everything, we can move on to assembling the laser. You can refer to the manual, but I recommend checking out the Algo Laser YouTube channel because the video instructions are clearer. However, it is not difficult to assemble and you should be done in 40 minutes. All you have to do is screw the four sides of the structure together, install the arm on which the laser will move, run the cables through the appropriate channels and connect them to the motherboard, then set up the air assistant. While we are at it, let's talk a little more about its technical specifications. The model I have is the 20W Alpha NK2, which is a 20W diode laser that allows us to engrave and cut different materials and offers a working area of 400 by 410 mm. As you can see, an interesting feature of this laser is the touchscreen, from which we can control our machine and create projects even without the aid of a PC. But we'll go into more detail on this shortly. Ok, now we are ready to actually start having fun with our laser. As a first test, I use one of the files that the company provides in the laser's memory. Just click on Projects and Examples and select the file you are interested in making sure that the material matches the one for which the file was prepared. To test that everything was working, I sent this cat keyring to print, and the result is a very cute accessories made of 3mm plywood. But let's see some other things I've made with this laser. I want to show you how it performs with different materials. So, let's start with a few other projects in plywood and cardboard. To make these decorations, I prepared the G-code in Lightburn and loaded it onto, onto a USB stick, which I then connected to the laser. I selected the file I wanted from the touchscreen, checked the preview of the print area and finally pressed start. Let's see the result. These decorations are really beautiful in my opinion, simple but effective. The laser had no problem with either the plywood or the cardboard. And if you want to use Lightburn with your Alpha MK2, I'll leave you the tutorial that Algo Laser created specifically for connecting this software to our laser in the description. But now I would say let's move on to other experiments, for example on metal. I ordered these colored aluminum plates to create some tags for my dogs. Honestly, I was very curious to see how the engraving would turn out on metal. So I selected a red tag and blue tag, 
created the lettering with a font I liked and sent it to print. The engraving turned out really well. The contrast is perfect and the outline of the lettering is really precise. I'm very satisfied with the result. Since we are talking about lettering, I want to point out a very interesting option. In fact, as I mentioned at the beginning, the laser has a special feature, namely that it can also be used without a PC. The Alpha MK2 is equipped with firmware called Algo OS that allows us to do several interesting things directly from the laser screen, without having to go through the computer. For example, with the Algo type function, we can create lettering directly from the touchscreen, deciding on the size, the positioning, and sending it to print directly from there. This is a really interesting and useful option that allows us to quickly create customizations without even having to turn on the computer. A similar feature is Algo Sketch, which allows us to create um, curves to engrave. In addition to this, we can also save files from the, uh, to the internal SD card for tasks we perform often control the AR system, move the laser module, and much more. We also have the option of engraving images by simply copying the JPEG or PNG files to the USB stick and setting the desired parameters on the screen. In addition to Lightburn, we also have the option of using laser GRBL or even the Algo laser application, from which we can send files from our cell phone to our laser. In short, we have really a lot of uh, options that make this machine very versatile. But let's look at some other projects. Since Christmas is coming up, let's continue looking at items dedicated to this holiday, with two more decorations that I made on my Alpha MK2, this time in acrylic. I found a very interesting material, this two-tone acrylic, available in different shades and I decided to engrave and cut this red and white panel for some super Christmas decorations. I created the fill and cut path and sent them to print. And here are our two tone poses. They really turn out very well. A small recommendation I would make if you plan on using acrylic is to work in a well ventilated area because acrylic generates unpleasant fumes. If possible, use an air purifier to make the process less hazardous and remember to constantly monitor the laser because acrylic can easily ignite. So we have tried wood, metal, cardboard, and acrylic. What else can we have fun with? Uh, I would say, let's try leather. First, I'll engrave some text on this Fox leather notebook. To do this, I don't even need to prepare a file on my computer. I can simply use Alcotype and create everything directly from the laser's touch screen. As you can see from here, I can select the material and print settings, as well as the size as posi and positioning in the print area. Being able to print uh, to prepare everything directly from the touchscreen is really convenient. So now I can press start. Again, the engraving came out really well without any problems. And I also made a very nice keyring out of leather.
Well, as you can see, I've made several things with this laser and I've got an idea of its strengths and weaknesses. So let's take a look at the pros and cons of this machine. Let's start with the pros. One, excellent value for money. For, four, uh, for 500 euros, we can take home a powerful 20 watt laser or alternatively a 10 watt or 40, la or 40 watt laser, which allow us to engrave and cut objects up to 400 by 410 millimeters. Second, touchscreen and firmware. The screen and also Algo S allow us to quickly create designs without the aid of a computer, greatly simplifying the workflow. Three, the air assistant is included in the package and can be controlled via software, which is really convenient. Four, various accessories are available that, can we, that we can add to our laser. Depending on our needs, we can purchase other laser modules, including an infrared one, a rotating module, a closed chamber, a camera, and many other accessories that might be useful. We can even choose the kit that best suits our needs when purchasing the laser from the various sets available on their website. 5. Engraving and cutting quality. Both are very clean and precise and allow us to produce beautiful works. 6. It is expandable. In fact, with the appropriate kit we can extend its working area by 850 mm. 7. The support material provided by the company is very useful. You can take a look at their YouTube videos, for example, download some already made projects on their website or check the recommended settings for a specific material. 8. The safety features allow us to stop the laser in case of emergency and safely resume work later, even in the event of a power outage. As you can see, we have both a key an emergency button, as well as an automatic stop in case any of the cable come loose. Now let's take a look at the cons I've noticed. First, it comes without a closed chamber. The chamber is an accessory that you can, be, uh, that you can purchase separately, so you can buy it if you want, but it does not come as a standard. This obviously means that we have to be much more careful to ventilate the area where we are working, as well as being very careful not to look directly at the laser and always wearing protective glasses. Second, the cables could be organized a bit better. The rings through the pass and the zip ties ensure that they are out of arm's way, but they still look a bit messy. Third, the preview is not very visible. The pointer is very faint when showing the work area, so we need to pay a little bit more of attention to center the file properly. Otherwise, I really enjoyed using this laser. I'm sure you have several projects made with it, and as you can see, they are really well done. I think it's an excellent machine, both for beginners and more experienced users. Also, if you're interested, there is a sale in December, so you can buy this laser at a discounted price. Perfect as a Christmas gift. I leave all the links below in the description. If you like this video, you can support me by leaving a like, and if you're interested in the world of lasers, check out these videos.